True Love Games. Yes, we are live in Cape Town! I am super excited. This city is a city filled with passion. It is a city filled with love. And I cannot wait for you to experience the magic of love. It is time to meet the ladies. Hi everyone, my name is NET, but people know me as Signet, and I am 25 years old from Zimbabwe. Hi guys, my name is Yolanda Fala, I'm 22 years old, I'm from Cape Town, we in Cape South Africa. Hi guys, my name is Pua Delacile, I'm from Cape Town, Kailicha. Hey besties, my name is Alice Oteman, I'm 21 years old. Hi, my name is Olana, I am 21 years old. I am from here in Cape Town, from Fuleni. I'm looking for a man. He has to be matured and ready to start a new life with me. He must not have a bed and a dress. I don't like a man with that because he basically reminds me of my ex. I am looking for a man who can love me, of course, but most importantly, who has a bank account that speaks. Because I'm a girl. I'm looking for a challenging man, um, interesting, sweet, and honest. The kind of guy I'm looking for is someone who is funny, someone who believes in God, someone who has goals, someone who loves themselves and appreciates themselves, someone who is family orientated. And I'm here on True Love Games to find true love. I hope to find love today. Wish me luck, guys. Thank you. I'd like to meet our ladies. Ladies, how are you feeling tonight? Love it. You all look absolutely fantastic. Um, yes. Uh, let me show you people I always remember their names because I see the comment section are you people like how do you remember their names? This is Annie, this is Yolanda, this is Olona, did I get that right? Olona, um, this is Api, wait, 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 Apizwa, Alizwa, Alizwa, and this is Piwe, Alizwa and the Piwe. Are you ready to meet the first bachelor? It is now time for us to reveal our first battle. Our first battle is Mbaya. He's also called Prince. Prince Mbaya. I don't know if he's from a royal family, but yeah, maybe. You never can know. 1.79 meters. Um, that's his height. He's 32 years of age. He's an electrical engineer and comedian. He loves to play. <laughs> he loves to play PlayStation. <laughs> what a word play. <laughs> Uh, province and country of origin, he is obviously from South Africa and uh, he is from Western Cape. Aibo! His pet peeves are... Oh, just one. He doesn't like cats. Alright! Um, remember ladies, at any point, if you do not like any quality of his, you may pop your balloon. But do not be in a hurry because we're yet to hear his voice. At least let's hear what he sounds like. It is now time to reveal Prince's voice. Hi ladies, uh, my name is Prince Mbaya and uh, the reason why I'm here is because of love and I'm single and I would like to, to find the one and I know it's not easy out there to find someone and uh, you never know until you try so I'm here and I'm ready, I'm ready, my heart is open to welcome the queen. Okay, wow, let's start with you. Okay, you know what, I have a better idea. You will tell me why you pop the balloon when he comes. Uh, Ladies, yeah. are you ready to receive Prince and Yes! Oh, drum rolls all the way from Western Cape, weighing 265 pounds, Prince and Boya! Okay. Wow, come, 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 this way. All right, uh, my prince, I greet you. All the way from Zamunda and Wakanda. Man, how you doing, brother? How you doing? Are you all right? right? I'm all right. Okay, so tell us a bit more um, about yourself, aside from what is here, you know, because, you know, yeah, you still have one balloon inflated. Yeah, last chance. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us more about yourself. You know, introduce yourself to the people. Be careful about what I want to say next because I have the last bullet, eh? Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm Chris Mbaya, I'm a stand-up comedian, I'm an electrical engineer, and by the way, I have my comedy show tonight as well. Oh, congratulations. What's the name of the comedy show? Make Me Laugh. Make Me Laugh. Okay. Okay. Chris, I don't want to put you on the spot because I know, I know what it feels like as a comedian mm. when you come and they're like, oh, make me laugh. Mm -hmm. I see if you're going to meet a doctor and you're like, oh, can you just chuck me some injection? Uh, it doesn't work that way, right? But the good thing is, um, you 
ladies if you like him and there's something that resonates with you you still have the opportunity to get back into the game according to our gameplay once a lady feels like she has made a bad decision she can still complete a dare given to her by the bachelor for her to get back into the game so it is not over till this is over my brother yes. you just need to prove yourself to this lady so any you popped your balloon why did you pop your balloon i popped my balloon because <clears throat> i know him Oh, okay. Well, did you guys have like a one night stand or something? What, oh, what? oh, no, 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 Are you no, sure? no, no. Oh, okay, so what's the problem? It's uh, we're just in an association zone, yeah. So, wait, 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 wait. Okay, if I have to explain to us, I was invited to be a judge on a competition, she was invited as well to be a judge in that competition, so yeah, yeah, it was a pageant. Oh, that's why you were judging yourself. No! Oh, yeah, it's so it was a pageant. Okay. Yes. So what's wrong with being on a, a on the pageant with another person? What's no, there's nothing wrong. But I just feel, you know, what you people say spec. Like I just feel like it's not my spec. It's more of an associate spec. Why is it not your spec? Because there are certain things that I like in a man. Like what or what? I like tall. Not too tall. Your height is not bad, but I like like very dark men, and. Yeah, and I also like, I like wealthy men. I like wealthy men. All right, um, but Prince, how do you feel about that, you know? Yeah, life is a choice, so let's see, we don't know the bank account, so yeah. yeah. So it's like judging the book by its cover. By its cover. Mm. Okay. No, but I did mention a few things that I like in a man. What Apart from the wealth. What I like about... Because, like, I, you know when people always ask you, like, what's your type? I can't really describe a type. But when I look at one, I know this is my type. Hmm. No, but that was not the question. The question was on the wealthy parts. Like, how do you know this no, one has money? I, I, I don't know. That's why I said I've never seen your bank account. I don't know. Okay, but if you have money, I like you. <laughs> oh, you should have gone straight to the point and say, yeah, I'm probably a gold digger. You know, it's Excuse me, it's not gold digging. Okay, it's what? It's not. So you, when you meet a girl and you tell her you want to f***, are you a pussy digger? Uh, PG-13. <laughs> but you said pussycat first. Okay, are you a coochie digger? Well, Prince, I'm not the bachelor. Uh... You're the one who said that. <laughs> that was your question. Yeah, oh, thank man. you. Okay, cool stuff. Oh, cool stuff. Yolanda? I'm not there. Why did you pop your balloon? Ah, uh, he looks like my ex. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh my God. We, we have a problem, yeah? That means yeah. he's kind of your type. But he looks like my ex. Oh, and my so ex I got the bullet by association. Yes. Okay. Are you serious? Yes. So what features like? Is it the facial features? Is it like the the bed <laughs> and the hairstyle? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not him. Still. Okay. You look like him. Wow. What did your ex do to him? Uh, to do to you? Oh, he left hot. me for Broken another hot. girl. Why? Ah, uh, apparently, I think he was taking a break from. The other girl and then i came into the picture so i thought we were cool we did it for like three months and then later on he told me that he fixed his problems with his ex-girlfriend oh, now okay. i must leave i was like oh wow so basically you were a psychic all along i mean i would say that uh rebound, rebound, rebound style <laughs> wow but but he's not why does another man have to suffer yes for someone else's mistake <laughs> he said what i also suffered but he's not your ex he looks like him <laughs> I'm always gonna read it. Okay, so I, I get it. When she's making love to you, and you know, she's just I thinking mentioned the name by mistake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry okay. about that. Uh, okay, so it's all right. It's all right. But I mean, it's not a bad reason, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least now you know. Free truth. Now you know it's not your problem. No, it's not my problem. It's just like the breakup line. The problem is not you. No, it's not her. It's me. Okay. Sorry. Oh, Lona. Why did you pop your balloon? Um, the age. What's wrong with the age? The age. Yo. He's way too old for me. How old are you? I'm 21. Do you, no, do you that's mind, bad. Like, I mean, do you date younger women? No. Oh, like, 11 years. It can't be like, 11 years. Age, like over 18, right? It, it can't be 11 years though. It can't be. 11 oh. years. So it's just the age. That's too much. Um, well, he's not really my type, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your type? Um, Money? Like her? <laughs> They don't mind me. Yeah. What's your type? Well, he needs to be tall, I guess. 
and he is tall. Yeah, I know he oh, is tall. Eh, anyway, taller. Yeah. <laughs> come, come, come. No, no, no. It's fine, it's fine. No, no. no just, just come, 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 come. 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 <laughs> you were in here. Do you wanna, do you wanna take off your heels? I just wanna check out something. Just take out, just take off your heels. Okay. Uh. Okay. So. <laughs> You are short. It's, All right. It's the hills. I just, I just no, 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 no. So I just want to know. So like, how? It's very short. How many inches more do you want okay. him to have? This is good. This is good. Okay, so it's not the height now. It's yeah, it's, it's well. not okay, the height okay, now. Cool stuff. I just need to. I just need to make sure. Cool. Now that you can put back your heels on, you yeah. didn't spoil your swag. In the hairstyle, no. The hairstyle can always be changed. No. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not changing my hairstyle. Uh, no, this, thank you. Uh, I'm making money from this style, so I can't change it. So, Aliza, why did you pop your balloon? I don't like my male threads. What? And the age 32. How old are you? I'm 21 years old. You're 21? Mm. We have a problem. Huh? You see? We have a problem with the age. Ah, uh, okay. So, it's just the age. All right. The age. So, that's just the age. Well, what do you like about him? Because I think it's been negative, negative. What do you like about him? Forget his, uh, forget his 32. What do you like about him? His height. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's all. Oh, all right. Cool stuff. Fair enough. Huh, and now to the lady that still has a balloon inflated. Um, talk to me. I still have faith. <laughs> <laughs> Patience. I can't say anything about him because he's a comedian. He's making other people laugh, which is not interesting at all. Wait, you don't want your man to make no. other people laugh? Why go ha ha with other girls? <laughs> no. Um, imagine your man making a whole crowd laugh. Just imagine. But it's paying the bills. Paying what bills? Mm -hmm. My bills. <laughs> <laughs> then you need to be more serious. No, but uh, as I said, uh, do electrical engineering as well. That is my serious part. So it's, but you also a you comedian. get both. You get the serious part. But you also you, a comedian. Yeah, you get both. Uh -uh. Plus and minus. Make, I must make you laugh, not you. Oh, okay, go ahead. okay, you know what? Go ahead. Try and make it. You know what? Maybe if you're closer <laughs> to her. Perhaps she would have a better chance of I want yeah, no, both of you just step closer. No, step closer. So yeah, cool stuff. Cool. All right. So um now she needs to tell a joke and you need to laugh. Okay. If it's funny. Tell a joke. You've been telling jokes to someone I don't want. That's fine. No, I can't go tell ahead. a joke to someone who's not my boyfriend. So he has to agree to be your boyfriend first. Yeah. So I think I should take it out then. Ooh, what's happening here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's we don't even need to. By the way, I have my show tonight, so I can take it out today. Then we do the show and we'll go grab something. You know what? Actually, there's no. Because usually we have a third segment where, you know, you now get to know each other one on one. But since you people have matched, who am I to put, put asunder what God has brought together? It's a <laughs> well, it's well, uh, my brother Prince. Um, I don't know, but whatever oil you used to rub on your body before you came out, eh, mm. is working for you. I think I, I like focused men, and you just showed that you're a focused man, you know, you just didn't want to explore other places. Eh? Well, then, all the best, and I wish you go. You know what. You can't stay here now. You have to go with your man. So please go and take your woman. Oh, yeah. oh God. Let's go. <laughs> See you guys. I'm not like you too. Ah! <laughs> oh, okay, we need to gist. We need to gist. Oh, ladies, ladies, you. Well, this is the first time that this is happening. I guess if you come to South Africa, unexpected things happen, okay? We've never had a match in the first stage because, you know, the guys are always figuring things out. Okay, let me try this person. Let me try that person. But yeah, congratulations to Prince and Mpiwe. So ladies, how did you feel about that, man? <laughs> I was shocked. I know, right? <laughs> Yo, like the girl is serious, okay? She knew what she wanted and she went for it. Oof. I am impressed. I am impressed. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Yolanda. I didn't expect that too. I know. I how do you so think shocked. your ex is going to feel after watching this? I don't care how he feels. He can just go to That's hell. Right. All right, without further ado, it is now time for us to reveal the second bachelor. Ladies, are you ready for the second bachelor? Yes! 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 Okay, uh, a lot of you were complaining about how old the first bachelor is, so I'm going to bring down the age. Uh. Our second bachelor is Kayemba. That's his surname. So, Mr. Kayemba is 1.78 meters. He's 24 years old. So, I don't want to hear anybody say, he's too old. This is a young man, 24. He is also a comedian. What are the odds? Uh, we have a lot of funny people in the house. He loves to work out. So, I mean, he's got the birthday, you know? Do you like his spots? Huh? Yolanda? 
Okay. Does, like did you ask? Six figures. Okay, I hear you. Yes. His province and country of origin, he is obviously a South African from Western Cape. He does not like a sloth. So he does not like lazy people. He doesn't want his woman to be lazy. And I can see that you are struggling with that balloon. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yolanda, you were first to pop your balloon. Because I'm a lazy person. Do you? Okay, I, I don't know if you were popping to her being a lazy person or... <laughs> <laughs> okay, but... Okay, so I'm going to get to you, Annie. You shocked us there. Because you're a lazy person, I'm going to ask you a very simple question. Let's determine whether you're lazy or not. Do you work? Yes. I'm a student. I'm also working. So how are you lazy? Because usually I get home and then I sleep. That's what I do. That's not being lazy. That's resting because your body needs rest. Yeah, but I'm not going to have time for him because he's going to think I'm lazy. Because when he wants us to meet up, I'll be like, I'm tired. I just came back from work. I have other things to do. He won't understand. He'll just say I'm lazy. How are you going to find love like this? <laughs> Only God knows. No, but you can't. What if he's understanding and if he's busy too? Both of you are busy and stuff like that. I don't like mind that. a busy person. But you don't even know if he's busy. You just popped your balloon. He said he, he, said he doesn't want a lazy person. So. But you're not lazy. Okay. I think I am. All right. It's all right. Although well, now you still have your balloon inflated. I guess you don't want to make a quick judgment, I guess. Yeah. All right, cool. Stop. <laughs> it is now time for us to reveal the voice of Kayemba. Now, this is the voice of Mr. Kayemba. Hey, what's up, ladies? My name is Sakre, and I'm 24 years of age. Um, the reason I'm here is because I'm just looking for a partner, you know, someone I can do life with and share memories with. So, if that's what you're looking for, I think I could be your guy. Did you hear that? My name is Sakre, Mr. Sakre. It's so sweet. It's oh, <laughs> Yolanda is so sweet. <laughs> okay, are you ready to meet Mr. Sakre? Yes! Alizwa, why were you laughing? The way he pronounced his name. How is he supposed to pronounce his name? Uh, it's funny to me. Okay. Do you do you know the origin of that name? Okay, don't worry. I'm going to ask him. But try and, try and pronounce it. His name is Sacre. 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 Oh, it's so sorry. You know, it sounds sexy. <laughs> Ladies, are you ready to meet Sacre? Yes! yes! Ah, hello. So, Sake, um, you know, the ladies were like, oh my God, I love a man with muscles and everything. Yeah, you, you ladies said it. Take your future, I kid. I want to see something. You're All right. Cool. Hey! What I see in South Africa? In the Cape Town. Do you like what you see? Yeah. Yeah. Not really. Ah, but you just told him to take off his jacket. Yeah. What's okay? What's wrong now? He he's too fit for me. Like I don't like men with muscles. He's I too fit for you. Very. But that one was too tough for you. It's okay. <laughs> hey man, I think every lady has different preferences. So. Yeah. I respect that. Oh, gentlemen, gentlemen, I love that. Okay, you also pop your balloon, Alice. Why? Okay, can I can I say something? First? Yes, please go ahead. I like your haircut. I like your eyelashes, right? And then the reason why I popped my balloon is too muscular for me and being a comedian. Do you like comedians? And his hobby is gymming. Hi. <laughs> no, not for me. But you, you can work out with him. You know, he doesn't do that. That's the reason I don't want to work out. That's oh. the reason, yeah. Oh, you love food, I, eh? You love food. You don't like to work out. No, not that I love food. No, I think she's thinking of like the funny and the chum. It's too serious and too funny, like two different worlds. Does that make sense? Is that why? Yeah. No, okay. What are you saying? Can you say that again? What I'm saying is, you may be thinking like chumming is like a serious sport, or no, like a good activity, no, no, and comedy is like jokes. No, it's not that. Chumming. <laughs> so every time he 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 he's busy chumming, what do I do? You laugh, you love. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> That's all? Okay, it's all right. Um, hmm. Annie. Yes. Don't get me wrong, you look good. But first of all, you're younger than me. Secondly, um, your profession, just being a comedian, I feel like it's not enough, especially for a person like me and 
hey please don't give me that look for a person like me like there are certain traits that i like in a man mm -hmm. and thirdly the country of origin and fourthly your accent i don't know like if you're mixed or what but for me if you're a black man sound like a black man don't yeah. sound like you someone else at first when i heard your audio i thought you were colored mm -hmm. you know so yeah Okay, so uh, apparently I'm not well versed with you know a bit of the diversity that's was was, was going on. Mm -hmm. um, however, it could be as a result of where you grew up. You know, where did you grow up? Yeah, so that's the interesting part because ladies, especially like from Tanzania, where are you from? Zim. You're from Zim, hundred percent. So when I speak to like girls that are from the neighboring like countries, they always get the accent twisted, and they feel like maybe you're trying to be someone you're not. You know what I mean? Mm. But it's because I grew up here. I lived my whole life here, and I lived amongst colored communities, hence is the accent. So it's not like, you know, because there are all people that lived in colored communities, but for me, it was like I grew up with them in the culture, so. But I also, I'm not a South African. I grew up in South Africa, but my accent is still Zimbabwean. I feel you. Yeah. Some people get influenced differently, I guess. Yeah. I guess so. Okay, so, I, I, but it's, is that the major reason? The, Aside from the age, you the can't... The age, the country of origin the profession and the accent okay oh, wow that's quite a lot but uh, i mean it's uh, it's your it's your decision it's your choice i can't date someone who's well, I mean, what, what do you like about him um he looks good like the field and everything but i just feel like it shouldn't go beyond this but he looks fine sexy as hell so yeah. when if you can't date him what can you do with him I, mean, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I thought you I thought you said this was PG thirteen. I was just I was just I was just kidding, I was just kidding, bro. Uh -huh. I just wanna you know make light of the situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's your choice. Mm -hmm. I can't fault you. Oh, it's no, your the choice. man is fine. Don't get me wrong, you're fine as hell. Yeah. I think maturity does add to the age thing though, but yeah. Yeah, but you. you're younger than me. How old are you? I'm twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. Oh. You know you're born. What month? Uh, October. October. Mm -hmm. So you're like, what, seven months older? Are you still going to turn 25? No, it's just the difference in the months. Uh, just but, today. Still, but you, you're 24 this year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Even though it's October, but I'm 25. Cool. That's the thing. Uh, the age is just a no, number. No, no, no. Okay, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. Uh -huh. For me, age is not, it's just a number when it's an elderly person. So I like men who are grown you know starting from the age of 29 i can make an exception 28 exception but like 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 that's that's that's, that's my spec hey, yolanda you know you can be 30 but your mind should can be like a child you know that and then you can be 24 and be mature yeah he seemed mature to me okay so she's right but it's not only about the maturity like i mentioned a lot of stuff at the same time you understand what i mean and uh, the profession that i don't mean yay if you're oh. if you're offended it's your problem okay <laughs> please but anyways no listen <laughs> did to them? i did not say it there's anything love, it's really <laughs> She's I did not say there's anything <laughs> i don't say there's anything wrong with being a comedian okay but for my men be a comedian, but do something else as well. Have you heard of Trevor Noah? I know Trevor Noah. What is he? He's a comedian. Okay, let me put it this way. Trevor has made it. And Trevor is not only into... Uh, into I'm looking for a man that has made it. Yeah. Shame. No, it's not a shame. <laughs> it's not. I, I am not, I'm not, I'm not Bob the Builder. I don't build people. No. no. So are you supposed to build with a person? No, I don't want to build with a person. I have That's done that scary, before. Though. It's not scary. I have done that. I think I deserve more than building with someone. At least if I'm going to build with someone, let me find you 70 or 80% there. Not that I'm going to start with you at zero. No, you don't have to. Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Yes, yes. We wanted to say something. So, interesting. Do you think I'm a sloth? A sloth? Yeah. A sloth is an animal. You're a human. A oh. Hero? What did you say? A sloth. You know, when someone is slothful, it means the person is lazy. Yeah, so it was just an interpretation. So yeah, she doesn't, he doesn't like just the animal sloth. 
Not that it that just person. It was just not Yeah, but I mean, if, uh, if someone is slothful, the person is lazy. Yeah, slothful. That's what sloth means. Yeah. So what do you mean by you, you know your pet means you don't you know, I just don't like sloth like the like an animal like, that's very lazy and I don't like it because it's yeah, but do you like lazy people? Um I wouldn't say so either. So it kinda does yeah. See now I'm saying So well yeah, well, well, well you did ask do you, does he think you're lazy? How would he know? Does he know you? Are you like how would I know you're lazy or not? Do you think you're lazy? The reason I'm asking because I, I said I don't like his hobbies. Uh -huh. Right? And then I said, Nini at his gym, what do I do? He said, I, I laugh. Okay. So, yeah. No, okay. It's based on that. No, it was, it was just my sense of humor. Sorry. I'm done. <laughs> I only popped my balloon because I thought you don't like lazy people. That's all. Oh. Uh, you match my criteria. <laughs> you seem cool too, man. Okay, yeah. dude. Okay, what's happening here? Um. <laughs> Now, the, the, the interesting thing is, if you want to get back into the game, you can. All you need to do is complete a dare that he gives you, and you can walk away with your man. Let me do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. My brother, how things turned around for you? Um, by the way, she said your name's a and um, Yeah, yeah. It's a French name. I'm Congolese. Exactly. So you pronounce it like that, Sacre. Sacre. What the Sacre. See? Sexy yeah. name. Sacre. Okay, so Sacre, what dare do you want to give her? You give me a hug. That's the dare? Oh. Yeah, okay. That's it's, easy. It's family, right? Alright. Okay. Mm. Don't mind me taking off my shoes. Oh. Oh. Okay, well. Okay, um, I don't know why you people don't want us to get to the last segment, but what's the point? So, is this a match? I think it's a match. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations! <laughs> Please take your woman and leave us alone. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh no no no! This is probably one of my favorite, most favorite episodes. I have a lot of favorites. Ah, what's what's happening? Like it's live. So you know we have a third segment where you know the dates get to ask one on one question and hit the buzzer. But yo, South Africans are very fast. Like you girls know what you want, the guys know what they want, and I, I really love it. Well, uh, amazing things have been happening. I mean, look at the way Yolanda left it all. She even forgot her shoe. <laughs> because of man. But that is the beauty of a reality show. This is True Love Games, and our matches are 100% real. And yeah, we wish them the very best. They don't even want us to get to our uh, buzzer fees. Ah, South Africans. I hear Luna. All right, ladies. Um, how do you all feel? I mean, last three girls standing. Um, it's quite scary. Okay, no, it's not scary to be honest. I am excited to see the next guy, so yeah. Uh, okay, uh -huh. you're excited to see the next guy. You almost sound French. I'm just saying, yeah, I'm excited to see the next guy. I don't know. Yes, I, could, say, no? I mean, I could be French if um, you want me to be French. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Okay, so what's up? How do you feel alone, huh? I'm also excited. Maybe okay. I'll find my match. Too. Maybe you'll find your match. And Alizwa, how do you feel? Um, I'm good. I have hope. You have hope. Please keep the hope alive. The beauty of it is, um, as president of the Federal Republic of Single People, and as the Grand Master of Matchmaking Worldwide, I will always make sure that I keep on bringing my single people back into the episodes until they find love. Um, hopefully, I come back to Cape Town, and yeah, if you're still single by then, you can <laughs> always come back, all right? All right, my ladies are still in high spirits. It is now time to reveal the third bachelor. Our third and final bachelor, since the ladies forced us to get a third bachelor because they were busy popping the balloons, is Brian. He is 5'8 feet. He's 29 years old. He is the brand ambassador for EcoFlow. So, I mean, I mean, he's got some, he's got some cash. Um, his hobbies are, he's a human rights activist, sports coach, and youth development practitioner. His province and country of origin, he's a South African from eastern cape finally some eastern cape people Wait, well, that means woman with no life quotes and no five-year plan okay <laughs> <laughs> this man he knows what he wants he wants a woman with a five-year plan and a woman that likes to you know 
quote things. <laughs> Our balloons are still inflated. That's that's good news. That's good news. So, Annie, what's up? What do you think of Brian's profile? Um, how old is Brian again? 29. 29. 29. He's not young. Because the last time, oh, he's still young. Yeah, but the problem is actually, I'm going to pop my balloon, unfortunately. Oh, why? Um, because one, the country of origin, two, the profession. What's wrong with he's a brand ambassador for EcoFlow? A brand ambassador, yeah, for EcoFlow. Yeah, first of all, I don't even know what EcoFlow does, I don't know, but it's logical of the flow of the mountains, <laughs> but I just know that he's not the one for me. I like. Um, uh, I like men who do businessmen. I, I, when I see somebody, you see, the same way that I weighed a comedian, which I'm not saying there's something wrong with it, it's the same way that I, I weigh someone who's just a brand ambassador. You can be a brand ambassador, but have something solid as well. Don't you want to give him the benefit of doubt and ask him if he has a business? Maybe he doesn't just want to, you know, reveal that for security reasons. Because a lot of people don't know that I'm actually a billionaire, but every single time the Forbes <laughs> list comes out, my name is never there. It's celebrate. Because the moment they know I'm a billionaire, Kidnapping. I, I, I can't hey. work freely in Cape Town. Now they've known you, you're a billionaire. Uh -huh. well, I never but said anyways, <laughs> But anyways, the issue is like, I feel like first impressions always matter. So unfortunately, I'm not impressed. All right, at least can you, can we just hear Brian's voice? Okay, then I'll pop my balloon still. <laughs> You haven't even heard him. You don't know what he looks is, like. Is it, is it voice that I'm going to be dating? I think I realized something. South Africans are very accelerated, you know. They're very decisive, which is a good thing. I mean, you can see how developed the country is because they are on their feet. However, I don't know if they actually really consider things through. I do. Okay, first Oh, you're Zimbabwean, I'm so Zimbabwean. I can't even generalize. Yes, thank yeah, you. You're Zimbabwean. I'm Zimbabwean, and as Zimbabweans, we know what we want, and we're very specific. And I'm not saying South Africans are not, or any other nation, but I know as a Zimbabwean, we are very specific. Okay, Annie, um, I want you to build your man, because you're making my job very hard. It means I have to go and source for your man. Yeah. Build your man with five qualities right now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's build this man that you want. Business-minded. Mm -hmm. Well, let me just say business, not only business minded, but actually has a business running. Mm -hmm. It might not be making millions yet, but it has to be running. Mm -hmm. Um, he has to be dark. Okay. And tall. How tall? Um, one, one six to one seven is not bad. Okay. And, um, he also must be, he needs to know how to like, um, I don't know how to like name it. But he needs to know how to, in a way, communicate with me in a way that we understand each other. As in, like, let's say I am being rude, but I'm not really being rude. I'm being funny rude. Being I don't rude. know how to... Not being real. No, no, no. You are being you. Yes. Mm -hmm. He also needs to be like that. And he needs to be calm and collected. Mm. And he needs to be... That way, uh, hearing is falling off, but continue. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um and he also i like a man who's like a lion i don't like a man who's who's just out there and everyone can just get to him i like a man that's like feared out there not like feared or let me say revered i don't know like yeah and then add, when uh, you want a, a man with authority yes a man that exudes i want a daddy power. yes okay. i want to be a baby i want to be babied mm -hmm. so when he's out there he's <clears throat> When he's inside, he's, hmm. <laughs> you know, oh, so okay. yeah. Can well, you find one? Yeah, of course. Um, okay. I am the grandmaster of matchmaking. Um, mm -hmm. Trust me, there is no man I can't find. Okay. I'll, I'll I will be waiting you. because. I got you. I got mm. you. All right, without further ado, are you ready to meet the Brian? Yes. yes. <laughs> it is now time for us to reveal Brian's voice. Now, this is the voice of Brian. Good day, ladies. This is Melinda speaking. My name is Masani. I'm a proud closer guy who values his roots and I'm looking for a girl who actually, let me put it this way, a woman who actually is able to take care of herself and be willing to actually sacrifice not just for herself, not for me, but for us. I'm looking for someone who is willing to help me, help her, help us build a good and stable relationship. Yeah, that's me. 
I don't, don't kind as my other mate. Ten. Okay, well, that is Brian. I don't know why you are just. Uh, what's happening? Olona. 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 Don't worry, I'm going to reveal him. I, I like the fact that your balloon is still inflated. Uh, you haven't deflated your balloon. I'm very surprised. Okay. So, ladies, are you ready to meet Brian? Yes. Introducing the one, the only Brian! All right, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Okay, so I think the first question that uh, is on everybody's mind is what is an what is an EcoFlow brand uh, ambassador? What do you do for EcoFlow? Who or what is EcoFlow? So ever since low shading happened in South Africa, so EcoFlow has produced portable power stations that we use in the house. So I've been a brand ambassador for EcoFlow. Mm. So selling portable power stations in store and even out of stores. Mm. So EcoFlow is a product that does power stations. That's good. That's a miracle. You're doing the work. Well done. Well done. And shout out to South Africa. Um, I was just giving South Africa a shout out. And you just... Come on. No, 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 no. You push your weight first. Let me finish giving South Africa a shout out. Sorry. Thank you. Anyways, I just wanted to give shout out, uh, South Africa a shout out. Um, finally, you guys really understood the, the, the pains of Nigerians and you decided to just, you know, um, be like Nigeria. And yeah, <laughs> we both have no shading. <laughs> <laughs> I know! You know, I've always known that we have a lot in common. I just didn't know it was going to be low shading. <laughs> you can't take a joke, can't you? Come on. <laughs> All right. Um, my brother, Brian, uh, you still have one balloon inflated. Well, the good thing is, if you impress these ladies, you know, they can still want to come back into the game. It's happened before and it wouldn't be the, the first time the ladies are popping the balloon. Please come closer to me, brother. Okay, so I'm going to start with Annie. You were the first to pop your balloon. Why did you pop your balloon? Um, I'm sure that you've explained, you know, the reasons. What's an Echo brand? Uh, what is an EcoFlow brand ambassador? He has answered that. So what do you still have against him? First of all, the audio... In fact, had it been that I listened to you and waited for the audio, I would have still popped the balloon. I do not like a man who says that I want a woman who takes care of herself. Yes, obviously, a woman should be able to take care of herself, but don't tell me. Because already for me, that means you are not going to be um, a responsible man towards your woman. Is that true, Brian? Like, how, how do you respond to that? What do you mean by that audio? You know, because maybe she misunderstood you. Yes. No, definitely. Um, I hear your point, which is valid. I understand that. When I say a woman needs to take care of herself, that means she doesn't have to let herself go. As much as I'll be doing the work, we need to work together. 50-50 in the same relationship. Mm -hmm. so you don't expect me to give everything in. I need her to assist me as I'm going to be assisting her. The spoiling will be there. However, I am also have a heart. I need to be spoiled as well. Mm. So I can't be doing the spoiling on my own. I need to be pampered. So well. basically equality, right? Uh, uh, immediately he said 50-50. It's a no from me. Okay. I do not like men who say it's 50-50. Man, if we're going to go 50-50, then we're going to make sure that when we make decisions, 50-50. And I'm going to do stuff that I want to 50-50. There won't be that he's the man and I'm the woman. No, we're going to be both men. And we will deal th with things the way we both think. Either way, I wouldn't really care about what he thinks. or like. In fact, I would take over as the man. Basically, I would do that. So when, when you mean 50-50, um, can you sort of throw more light? Do you, you mean 50-50 financially, emotionally? Um, it should never be financially. I'm just, in all aspects. In mm. all aspects. Okay, so what a decision making because she did make, make a yeah, point. Yeah, made a valid point. Yeah. Now, when I'm saying 50-50, I mean the men, even if there are troubles or anything in the household, we need to sit down. Mm. The ones going to be taking decisions, we need to come together, decide what we're going to do moving forward. If mm. she wants to be the man of the house, the man is just the, which is the word. But if she wants to be a man of the house, she is a woman in the other way, so she can lead if she wants to lead. Now, 
cooperating. That's the problem. Together. Okay, so you, you don't mind a woman leading you? No problem. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a matter of choice. That's why, because I I have heard women that would say that you know they want to be in charge as well. You know what I mean? No. Um, so again, it's it's no. It's just I understand Can the point I... seems to raise off the line, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. which is which is which is very very much true. Yeah. And now she needs to understand also the lion as much as is a king. The lion's a king because of the lion has a lot of no. There's a lot of weaknesses the lion has. But it overcomes the weaknesses due to the mindset that it has, uh, the attitude it has. That's why it becomes a king. I don't, I don't want to be leading any men. I'm sorry. I want to be led. Even if you're a Christian, according to the Bible, it says so. Do you understand what I mean? And I believe that the reason why we are called women is our spirit is also men, but we are called women and we are told to submit because we also have the same ego and pride as men, but we just have to submit our own. It does not mean we don't have it. So now if I'm going to lead, it's going to be a disaster, like a huge disaster. And unfortunately, I want a man who leads me. I want a man who takes the hand and be like, we're going this way. Okay. And I'll be like, yes, daddy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. You want to be calling your husband daddy? Yes. All right, sorry. Why Come not? On, huh? You know, there's a difference in daddy and zaddy and daddy. Which one is it? It depends on the situation. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh, no, now. Why did you pop your balloon? I was really just, you know, hoping that, you know, we're going to have a third match. We've had two matches so far, and I was really banking on you to be the third match. What's, what, what, what went wrong? I'm not really, I'm not attracted to him. Okay. Um, and I don't have a five-year plan, so. Pardon? I don't have a five-year plan. Oh, yes. So, I mean, so, a, a woman that has a five-year plan, and, you know, what do you mean by that? A woman needs to have a plan. So she needs to have a long-term, medium-term, and yeah. short-term goals that she sets for herself. Mm -hmm. So when I come into the picture, I need to help her reach those goals. So I cannot come into the picture and then start to build from scratch. But what are your goals? Mm. My goals? Yeah, your five five-year plan. What's that? Currently, I'm busy as I'm the ambassador for EcoFlow. I'm, I don't have a, sta a stable job, which is the one I'm doing right now, but I have an NGO that I'm running right now. Hence, I'm doing youth development practitioner. I'm in Kailicha doing youth development pro, and I'm doing tutoring as well, part-time, and I'm doing privately. Aliswa, um, what do you like about Brian? Nothing. Come on, come on. Forget all of the things that are here. I mean, you've met him as a Nothing. person. Nothing. You... <sighs> okay. Yeah. What do you like about Olona? Okay, well, ladies, um, so none of you want to get back into the game. I feel like if you guys get to know Brian better, like, you know, maybe have a one on one conversation with him, maybe something could spark. Um, so, any? I did ask about his five year plan and I did not hear anything. Oh, what's, what's, your, what's your five year plan? Oh, so I'm um, setting an NGO, they were saying. So that's what I'm basically you know, doing right now, as well as I am also doing sports coaching. So I'm going to ETA right now to study sports administration. So I'll be doing sports uh, coaching as well, professionally. But the one thing I want to go into, which is youth development. So NGOs and running youth, youth cafes. So Western Cape is the only province that has youth cafes right now. So that's why I came back to Western Cape. I was in Joburg. So I came back last month to Western Cape again, so that I can open a youth cafe in Kainisha. Okay, but does that involve you getting a cash flow anyhow? Yes, definitely. Uh huh. So I you see. don't ask how I'm getting the cash flow? Yes. Oh, because wow. it's it, like a business interview, but I make no. It's, <laughs> no yeah, it's, it's not a business interview. I'm a girl. No, okay, no. I I really like good things, and I work hard to give myself good things. I want a man who will come and give me more good things. I don't want to give a man good things. No, men must give me. Good things. Okay, not master. I'm not going to say I'm entitled to it. No, I'm not. Okay. But naturally, when a man, you know this, naturally, when a man loves his woman, he takes good care of his woman. It's not that I'm asking for a house in Hollywood or a Porsche or a Bentley. No. It's not Just, bad, but yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, like, yeah. So, that's the first thing that I look at. Because at the end of the day, let's say, for instance, I'm considering marriage. I'm not going to marry... Um, youth development sorry or height 
or looks or stuff. I also do projects that um, caters for youth and stuff like that because I'm a pageant model. So we also do um, charity work and everything. I believe in giving back and all that. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I I've been in a space in my life where I used to focus on that a lot, but I wasn't building my life. So for me, the first thing, if you want to impact someone, build your life first. That way you will be able to impact someone better. So if I'm going to come into your life and you want to be impacting people and I'm coming into your life so that I can be like maybe a pastor's wife and now I have to suffer because you want to give back, hmm. it will not work. All right. Uh, thank you very much. And my brother, I really tried, Brian. But the good thing is um, this is a home for all. You can always come back. Please do not take all of the things you've heard in a negative way. And it's just a matter of choice. You know, they were not feeling you. And, uh, but are you feeling any of them? Like, I, didn't, I wanted to say you're not feeling them, but are you feeling any of them? <laughs> are you feeling any of them? Despite all of the crazy things they've said about you. Well, I mean, are you feeling any of them? Once again, you know, you came through with beautiful woman. So they look stunning. So I do love them. They look beautiful as well. And feedback is feedback. Doesn't have to be positive or negative. Feedback is feedback. It okay. gives me to become a amazing. Player. But if you were to pick one, who would you pick? Honestly, if I don't pick one, yeah. If you were to pick one, who would you pick? I think the one who intrigued me more in the conversation. So obviously, it has to be her. Any? <laughs> <laughs> You're blushing. <laughs> of course, I am. <laughs> Oh, okay. But um, don't think too far. It's, the man loves the woman who challenge him. Oh, thank you. Are you thank having you. a change of heart? I mean, no, I'm not. <laughs> well, how do you feel but about that? It's great, but actually, I would like to disagree. Not all men like women who are challenging. He, I mean, he literally said that he loves a. He, he doesn't mind if a woman leads him. Yeah, yeah, he said that. That's, That's true. Right. But so. I want to be led. That's the difference. I mean, like, yes, I can still speak my mind. You think you can turn him to a lion? Because I remember you said you want a lion. I've tried that. It doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, it okay. doesn't. Like I said, I'm not Bob the Builder. Don't <laughs> build stuff. Yeah. All right, but tell us, tell us about it. You know, the person that you tried to build. It's a lot. No, what happened? <laughs> Just summarize. So what, what did you do and what, what happened eventually? Okay. So after so, building him, he got the money and then it left you. Like, what was the story? Yes. Okay. There are lots, but I've always been the type of person that I used to believe, you know, growing up, we always used to be told like, um, build together, grow together so that you can have family together and all that stuff. And I met a lot of men that I, I've always been industrious. Thank God to my mom. Shut up, mom. <laughs> Anyways, I've always been an in industrious person. I always work hard, whether a job, business, whatever. So when I meet someone and I can see like, okay, I can help push, go forward. Sometimes I used to forget myself and put the person first mm -hmm. so that they can make it. And when they make it, I would expect, I'll be thinking in my head, like we're on the same page. So if he makes it, I also make it. He's my man and maybe we'll get married have children, all that stuff. But I invested a lot. And the last time I gave everything to a man, I was almost left homeless. Hmm. So, so when you say everything, so I'm going to categorize it. Apart from your love, your care, your emotional support, financially, what's the highest amount you think you've given a man? I actually housed him, okay. fed him, clothed him, and gave him all my savings. I can't mention the amount. No, just give us a figure. You might not mention the exact amount. Give us the range. Tens of thousands. Okay, tens of thousands, which means it could have been up to 90,000. Okay, no, that's too high. Okay, but 70. No, I'm not going to tell you. 60. No, I'm not going to tell you. Okay, okay, tens of thousands. Okay. Yes, let's just keep it like that. Plus the clothes, plus the food. The food and, and the rent. And the body as well. And the body. Okay. Yeah. Now I can understand where you're coming yeah. from. Yes. I do. Thank you. I do deserve love. I deserve yeah. love. I can relate. But it's all good. Well, um, this is literally the first time on my show that's... No, it's not the first time. That's happened before. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, actually, what's an unexpected ending? Uh, Brian, better luck next time. That's all I can say. And you've been such a wonderful spot. Please, can we give it up for Brian? Can I, can I give him a hug? You want to give him a hug? Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, that's nice. That's that's a happy ending. That's that's yeah. You have a large heart. Yeah, literally. Thank you.
but I'm evil too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> okay, but even in the good way, it's so good. It's it's, it's good. Okay. Please give it up for Brian. <laughs> Oh, ladies, come on! Do you don't you think if you were too harsh or loner? Don't you think if you were too? I don't know. I feel I feel bad. No, I wasn't. I don't think I was. No, no, it wasn't. I mean, you people weren't harsh. You were very honest. I understand, but I just. Why do you feel bad? I, I'm just. I'm just a love doctor. You know, I'm. I'm a love doctor. You know, I just. I just want to see people in love, matched up, and everything. <laughs> I know, I know. But it's all good. Well, since we are not moving on to our final episode, which is the rapid fire phase, because our ladies are very strong willed. They know exactly what they want. And, you know, they don't just, they don't want to test the waters. They don't want to give them, you know, a little bit of chance. They just said, you know what? I don't like you. And it is what it is, right? Ladies, I'd like to thank you so much for coming on True Love Games. Thank and you. I hope to have you back on True Love Games in, you know, the nearest future. Huh? <laughs> all right. Any? Olona, Alizwa, mm. thank you so much for coming. And please feel free to come back anytime. This is the home for all. I'm Mr. President. And it is my duty to make sure all single people Excellent. all over the world yeah. find love. Okay? All the best. And on that note, sorry, I could have done a link leading us to the next segment. But unfortunately, we don't have a next segment. This is why it's a reality show. It's not programmed. Our ladies did not find a match. And yeah, this episode had an unexpected turn. Please make sure you uh, join our community by liking, subscribing, commenting, engaging on all social media platforms. To my ladies, thank you so much for coming. And I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah.